Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the secrets of the heart. All praises due to Allah. We praise Him, we seek His aid, and we ask for His forgiveness. And we send peace and blessings on our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. This is a new episode of The Secrets of the Heart, and we are still trying our best to uncover the secrets of this beautiful world. So hopefully, we will be able to take good care of our hearts and nurture them in the way that will give us the keys to paradise. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us in all our efforts. We said previously that there are three types of the hearts one is a healthy and sound heart, and another heart is the ill one. An ill heart suffers from diseases, and we mentioned the two types of diseases the desires, the sins, and the misconceptions and doubts. And we said that if a heart remains in illness and suffering from disease without good care, it will end up as a dead heart. A dead heart does not recognize or cannot, cannot tell what is right from what's wrong, what is the truth from falsehood. So the only criterion it has is the desires of the person himself. So whatever is beneficial to him is something good. Whatever is harmful to him or whatever seems to be harmful or anything he dislikes to him this is evil so this is the seriousness of the issue of the heart and the illnesses that the heart suffers from if a person reaches the stage of a dead heart he will become very destructive because he will try to impose his own vision his own desires his own interpretation of things on the rest of the world and to him the only criterion for what is right and what is wrong is what he likes and what he dislikes. And this is exactly the state of the Western world today. People, mo the majority of people, most of the people in the Western world, they have neglected the hearts until their hearts reached the stage of a dead heart. And then they want to impose on the rest of humanity their own values that are based on what they like and what they dislike. So they, for them, they like, men like sleeping with any woman they like. A woman likes to sleep with an uh, uncountable number of men. There's no problem with that. They like it, they enjoy it, they're happy with that. To them, it's something good. There's no harm in that. And when you say to them, you can only have an intimate relationship with a woman inside the wedlock. Not, not outside it, they say that's too much backward. To them, that's something evil. So it's just, this exactly matches what the Prophet ﷺ said, that the hearts will end up into two types. A heart that is totally black, totally dark, like a cup turned upside down. It does not, or it cannot tell what's right from what's wrong, except based on what it likes and what it dislikes, according to its desires. And when you tell them that Allah has given us the permission to marry up to four wives, and that's obviously a good thing as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala condoned that and gave permission to that, it is something good. Along with the conditions, to them this is something evil, to the people of the West. Why? Because the criterion they have is what they like, what they dislike. And you can wait for another 20, 50 years and you will find that the, the things that they like today will be totally different. So what they like today, in the years to come, there will be things that they dislike so they will make them prohibited. Some years ago, some time ago, homosexuality was considered to be a crime in most of the Western countries. It was something evil, something filthy, something despicable. But now it is something that is, that is a sign of advancement and a, a sign of open-mindedness. And if you have a problem with homosexuality, you will be called a homophobe. And you will be looked upon as an eccentric in this society. So this shows that the criterion they have is what they like, what they dislike, desires. Although there are some exceptions, there are some people of understanding in the West that are, that, that are really screaming against these things, but... Their voice is almost unheard of. So, 
And we said that the secrets or the measures to the health of the heart, to maintain the health of the heart, to take good care of the heart, and these are very important secrets, and they match the title or the, uh, the theme of our series, which is the secrets of the heart. Yes, the secrets to having a healthy heart, we said they are the same secrets of maintaining good health, physically speaking. First of all, we said you have to strengthen the natural force or the natural strength you have to maintain it. The nat natural strength of the body or the heart depends on what we are talking about. We said with regards to the body, you have to look after its nutrition, provide it with the elements that will strengthen it. So the natural strength will maintain your immunity against diseases and against weakness and your body will be healthy. Exercise will help also. What matches that when we speak about the heart is reciting the Qur'an, remembrance of Allah, praying, fasting, the all good actions, all the acts of worship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed. These things will add strength.